It's officially wheeling season, and there's a lot of people out there wheeling by candlelight, like this is freaking 1815 or something. In today's video, we're gonna talk about off-road lighting, more specifically, cheap off-road lighting, and what are some options to get the most bang for your buck. This video is not sponsored, hashtag not sponsored. However, it is a collaboration with Oxbeam, who kindly sent me a pair of seven inch 90 watt spots that feature a die cast aluminum housing and PMM MMA lenses, whatever that means. They do boast an impressive 9,000 lumens and only cost 140 bucks. You can use coupon code Captain Narkill, no spaces for an additional 12% off. But wait, there's more. They also sent me a pair of seven inch 210 watt spots with all the same specs except for the intensity. These boast a retina burning 21,000 lumens. These things are wildly bright and cost a modest 160 bucks. Same coupon code Captain Arkill, no spaces for an additional 12% off. They come complete with extra trim rings with extra colors for that extra fancy factor. If you're the kind of person that likes to match the curtains and the drapes, well, this is probably right up your alley. enough of the shenanigans we are in the Arizona desert in an undisclosed location in the black of night and we're gonna find out which lights are the best bang for your buck we brought all kinds of lights we got halogens we got a whole mess of LEDs we got light bars we got all kinds and I'm with my buddy Danny because this video is a collaboration with Oxbeam so I feel like I kind of lose some credibility in this video because I did get most of these lights for free but he's gonna weigh his opinion, and uh, with that, we'll make an informed decision of which lights are the best bang for your buck. Before we get into the big expensive stuff, we're gonna start off with this really, really cheap 27 watt tractor light. It's basically just a work light. You can get these on Amazon for 26 bucks roughly for the pair, and uh, this is by far the least expensive light we have to compare. Let's plug it in. Oh, no, just kidding. Well, light. Oh, the thing is live. What do we think? Uh, it looks like 27 bucks. It's pretty weak, it's man. 27 bucks right there. Are we impressed? I can't Not even much, see no. it. Not impressed. No. Kicking it to the curb. Next up, we got a light by Oxbeam. This is a four year old, four inch pod. It puts out roughly 1800 lumens. I forget how much they cost, but I think today at the time of this video, they're roughly like 50 bucks. Definitely not an expensive light. Let's see if the money stacks up to the brightness. And let's get this orange film off. We don't really need that. Just trying to cut that dust, you know? Crud cutter. Whoa, this one definitely is a little bit brighter, but still not very impressive. What do you think, Danny? Well, at least you can see it. The other one, you couldn't even see it from the holidays behind it. So at least still it's not something. Super great. It's not bad, though. For, like, for 50 bucks, put this on your rig and have like LED off-road lights. It's not horrible, but I don't know. Not loving it. Medium. Medium. Danny five, gives five it. Five out of ten for me. Danny gives it a hard five out of ten. Three out of ten on the previous. <laughs> All right. Let's keep moving on up. This next light is a LazFit, and this is an up-and-coming company from Ontario. The pair of these lights will run you about 130 bucks, and they're about 1,700 lumens. Uh, you know, they're decent lights. Unfortunately, I can't plug it in. This is an amber one but I do have them already wired on the windshield. So let's see how they look. What do you seven think? Seven out of 10. Seven out of 10 he gives them. They're pretty bright. You can see solid white where they are. All right, well there it is. There you have it. These are the last fits for 130 bucks. And Danny gives them a seven. They're 1700 lumens and they're really decent lights. A lot of power for only having four LEDs in this pod. Definitely not mad at these lights. Should we keep moving up the scale? Keep 
This next slide is what you guys saw earlier in this video. Oxbeam just sent it to me. It's a seven inch spot, it's 90 watts, and it puts out 9,000 lumens. It's only 10 bucks more than the last fits we just saw. So let's see how they stack up, and let's see what rating Danny gives these lights. Let there be light. Bam! Ah, oh my gosh, it's glorious. And they were how many lumens? These are 9,000 lumens. And they were how many dollars? $10 more than the last bits. Wow, that's a lot more dollars per lumen. We're not really trying to sell these things. We're kind of just reading it like we see it. I'm pretty fired up on these lights. I like them so much, I actually put them in my grill and they're just the headlights now, like full-time headlights. Pretty bright. My only gripe about these is we're experiencing some condensation. This really shouldn't happen on a brand new light. I can only imagine what would happen if it rained this thing's gonna look like a freaking fishbowl. Keep running them, let you guys know what happens. We're gonna step it up even further. This is a like a four or five year old 50 inch light bar, also by Oxbeam. I gave it a really, really hard review when this thing first came out. It makes kind of a weird noise, and a lot of people were quick to correct me on that noise, saying, oh, it's just the vibration when you go down the highway. Well, this light bar actually makes like a weird like electronic, like. It's hard to explain. It's almost like a like a radio feedback kind of noise, but it's coming from the light bar. A long time ago, I said it was possibly a fire hazard. This thing's been on my Jeep now for a little over four years, and obviously we have not had any fires. That review was harsh. And actually, it was kind of cool. Rocks Beam was still sending me stuff after I gave them just such a hard, hard review. Let's fire up this light bar. Definitely a blinder. I don't understand why people spend so much money on these super expensive light bars when they just are so commonly damaged or stolen. A light bar is a light bar. Like when you see somebody out on the trail with a super nice light bar from certain brands, but it looks just as bright to me as the next light bar. It's just a light bar. They're all just, they're crazy bright. A light bar is a light bar and I don't know. It's just kind of how I feel about it really. The sucker's bright. What do you think, Danny? It's super bright again, yeah, I, it, it's up there. I, I'm gonna give it like a 8.5. I'm gonna say it's a little less than, uh, but I'm gonna say like an 8.5. Just the fact that it's a light bar and they're supposed to make noise puts a damper in my brain and that might be what weighing in there in all fairness, so. Can you I'll hear it though? Or some people That's can't I, and I, see. I sound like a crazy person. Oh no, I definitely hear it. Okay, it just went down to an eight. Whoa, whoa. It just went down to, yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> like a dog whistle or something. It's kind of, some people can't hear it, but it drives me absolutely insane. And I think, it's not even, no, no, not wind whistling. It's It's like an electronic whistle. Noise yeah. Like your We're bringing it real, we're bringing it raw. This is like honest feedback on cheap off-road lighting. The last and final lights are a set that Oxbeam just sent to me. These are $160, 210 watts, and they are 21,000 lumens as a pair, which is freaking bright. These are like helicopter spotlights. These are like blazing balls of the sun on my windshield. It's quite insane. We're gonna point them into the sky, and it's gonna be like a movie theater where they're like doing the whole thing, you know? So. What do you think? Theaters over here. These are the freaking retina burners right here. I'm about to set that cactus on fire. What do you think, Danny? They are mega intense, super, super, super bright. I think they're an awesome, like an option, like when you need them kind of a thing. Um, they're a lot of light. Nobody looking at you can see anything else. Probably for like a day. It's like a welding burn. It, it reminds me of like, yeah, like it's what would come, like, if you escape prison, that's what they're looking for. Looking for but, Michael Schofield? If you need to light up the side of the mountain or whatever, though, it, it, it'll absolutely do it. Even all the way out there. We're talking cheap off-road lights. These things are still $160 for the pair. But I mean, in the grand scheme of things, that's not that bad if you're looking for some serious off-road lighting. I don't know. 
is our honest opinion of these lights and uh, I think the information in this video kind of speaks for itself. In all fairness and equal opportunity, we're gonna review these KC halogens as well. Like 120 bucks, you're gonna get a halogen light. I don't wanna say it's inferior to LED, but I, I don't know, I just, I think it kinda is. And these are KC's, this is a really reputable brand. I don't know what else to say. Comparing these halogen KC's to the LED's that we were just talking about, they're A, a lot more dollars, and B, a lot more yellow, icky, light and and it's a lot less bright i think that those are way better and less dollars so for what it's worth that's my opinion we're talking best bang for your buck and there you have it this has been an extensive review of cheap budget and economical off-road lighting options for your rig i want to say thank you to oxbeam for sending me these lights as well as other companies in the past that have sent me lights i guess the words got out that i'll just review lights so, I don't know, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you for sending me these lights. If you enjoyed this video and found this information useful, make sure you give this video a like. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I also wanna say a huge thanks to my buddy Danny and his lady for helping me make this video. I really appreciate it and they were super helpful in the production of this video. They also gave me this super awesome chainsaw. So I really appreciate that. Happy holidays to all you guys and uh, I'm gonna go find me something to change, 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 and I'll see you guys next time.